All right, folks, Eric from Belgrade Beat. I am about to show you the mother of all Belgrade markets, in my opinion. This is Kalenic. So, if you want one market in Belgrade that pretty much has it all, I would recommend this one, because it has it all. And, um, yeah, it's in Vračar, so very close to the city center and Slavia. And, um, you know, I started um, in Belgrade renting apartments near here, so this is where I discovered a lot of the culinary pleasures that I enjoy today. Um, so you walk in the market from this side, which is closer to uh, Slavia Belgradska Ulica, and um, you have lots of sort of junk here. People selling, you know, old antiques and stuff like that in a very disorganized, old clothes in a very disorganized fashion. And then you walk a little further and you get some nice flowers. Wonderful. And people have said that I need to slow down when I'm doing these videos and just show the stuff, so... Stuff. Anyways, this is one market where you do hear a lot of music playing here. There's a real, at least in this part of it, lots of people playing, you know, Balkan music with accordions and stuff. Anyways, lots of flowers as you can see. And now we progress a little bit to the vegetables. Still the month of May. Oh, beans, beans, the magical fruit. Uh, fresh onions and garlic, and cucumbers and potatoes. Everything really nice. I would say that this, who broccoli for a hundred, oh, it's hundred komad, means like one piece. So that's not a deal. But um, in terms of pricing, I, I'd say that this market is a little bit more expensive than the other ones. Just a little bit. Um, because it's got the prestige of being, first of all, in a more affluent neighborhood of Belgrade. And second of all, one of the markets where you really have the best selection of stuff. Yeah. As you can see, it's, it's all very fresh and good here at Kalenich. Yeah. So it's May, Thursday morning. This is what's going on. And it's it's good. Feels good, fresh. I mean it's a very big market. And you have, you know, the corporate meat stuff going on here. Um, yeah, just awesome. Fresh local stuff, what can I say? I'll just show you. Candied fruits. And you know, on the edge of the market, you always have these uh, stores that sell cheese and cured meats. Candles and fish, fresh fish, 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 fish. I'm not into fish, so I haven't tried the fish. And then at the end of the market, you sort of get to this, uh, yeah, more fish, the whole fish section for those who like fish, it's not me. And then this like noodle stuff. Someone pointed out in the last video, Zeman Piazza, that these are noodles that you have to deep cook or something. I don't know. Sounds kind of Asian to me. And then finally you get at the edge of the market. Oh, yeah, there's the health food store, Bio Spice. You know, it's always good to have a health food store there because, you know, health should be why you come to the market. You can get good apple cider vinegar and stuff. Yeah, now this is the. Uh, Milk products, specifically the meat section.
That's really good stuff here. Yeah. Maybe not as much uh, stuff going on here as other markets because I kind of feel like this cheese section and meat section is kind of far away from the rest of the action. Maybe a lot of people miss it when they come. But you can get what you need. There's cheese in a barrel. Barrels of cheese, love it. Um, yeah. I remember I used to buy this really stinky ghost cheese here. Really stinky, really good. If you put it on some pasta, you would get like flavor exploding everywhere. Yeah, I mean, in terms of this cheese section, it's, it's nothing to write home about it, but you know, take some time and try all the different cheeses. I'm kind of biased because I'm mostly into goat's cheese and sheep's cheese when I go to places like this, and that's what I buy because it just feels cleaner to eat it like that. Um, yeah, so this is a section off by the milk hall where they have lots of, you know, other stuff like coffee. But normally I buy coffee from different tea, from different places. And honey. Remember I used to buy lots of rakia here, but it was sort of like a, a thing where you have to, where you have to uh, sort of like, hey, you got any rakia? I don't know why it was always like having to sort of quietly ask if there's, oh yeah, this was the guy. And he's got goat's cheese too. Yeah. But I'm not going to buy any rakia now because it's, Eight in the morning. I don't know. That's pretty much it, folks. But it's a great piazza for like if you come to one in Belgrade, I would say come to this one because it, it really has an atmosphere and uh, yeah. Maybe I just think it's the best one because it's the first one where I sort of experienced the whole thing. Um, but I don't know. Tell me in the comments what do you think of uh, Kalenich piazza in comparison to the other ones in the city and which is your favorite and where should I go next um, yeah great and outside the market you have these stores which sell bread and stuff like that more sausage bread vegetables whatever not vegetables they're inside but you know the deal just everything good well they have frozen vegetables here everything good in life you can find in the market and good way to get back to the uh, natural food rather than eating processed crap like, you know, lots of people do. All right, thanks. Subscribe if you like this video. And uh, yeah, see you soon, guys.